Okay, so we're going to begin our examples of metric space. So the first one we're going to consider is uh, the real line, so the real numbers. Okay, uh, so uh, this was actually our motivation for uh, def defining uh, the structure of a metric space. Uh, so now we better check that it actually is a metric space. Okay, uh, so we let our abstract set equal the set of all the real numbers, and we let the distance between any two points x and y, which are elements of the real numbers, uh, be equal to the modulus of y minus x. So basically, if we have a picture, we have two points x and y, in the real numbers, we are defining the distance between them to be the modulus, the absolute value of y minus x. Okay, so let's have a look and see if this obeys the axioms of a metric space. Number one, is d of x, y an element of uh, zero to infinity? Okay, uh, well that's certainly true because this is always going to be a positive number and it's always going to be finite. You give me any two real numbers, uh, this is never going to be plus infinity and it's never going to be negative either. Okay, uh, so second axiom, that the distance between x and x is equal to zero and that that works both ways. If it's equal to zero, it implies that they are equal to each other. So let's check forward firstly. So if we take the distance between x and x, that is equal to the modulus of x minus x, which is indeed equal to zero. Now, uh, if, if on the other hand, x minus y, the modulus is equal to zero, uh, then that uh, implies that x is equal to y, uh, because the only way that the modulus can equal zero is if the distance, if it is if the mod, if if uh, the two points are equal to the same point. Okay, otherwise this will always be a, some positive number. Okay, so three, uh, three uh, symmetry. The distance between x and y is equal to y minus x. But this modulus is equal to x minus y. It makes not a. It doesn't make any difference whether you uh, whether you do the subtraction in the other order because uh, you'll get obviously uh, you'll get the negative x minus y is the negative of y minus x. But when you take the modulus sign, it t uh, gets rid of that negative sign anyway. Uh, and this is equal to the distance between y and x. Uh, so we get that the symmetry property holds. And now all we have to check is that the triangle inequality holds. So uh, we want to make sure that if we take uh, if we take some point x in the real numbers, and we take some point y in the real numbers, and we take some other point z, uh, then the, the distance between x and y is less than or equal to the distance between x and z, uh, plus the distance between z and y. Okay, uh, so the distance between x and y, uh, we know, is equal to the modulus of y minus x. Now we can do a clever trick here, which is to add and subtract the same thing. So if we subtract off z, and then we add z back on, uh, then we get that. That's perfectly correct. The distance between x and y is equal to the modulus of y minus z plus z minus x. Uh, that gives you the exact same number. Uh, but now what we know is we know that the uh, from uh, real analysis, we know that the modulus of a plus b is less than or equal to the modulus of a plus the modulus of b. That's pretty obvious if you think about it. So if we, um, if this is zero and we have two points a and b, uh, then either if they are, if a and b are both positive, if a is greater than zero and b is greater than zero, uh, then uh, mod of a plus b is equal to a plus b, uh, and mod of a is equal to a and mod of b is equal to b, so we get that it's equal to mod of a plus mod of b. So if they're both positive, then um, it's true, then this inequality is true that a plus b is less than or equal to a plus b, uh, modulus of a plus the modulus of b, because actually equality holds in that case. If a is less than zero and b is less than zero, uh, then uh, then a plus b is obviously less than zero, and the modulus of a plus b is going to be greater. Uh, is going to be um, is going to be the positive version of that. So if you think about it uh, like this, so if this is zero uh, and this is a and this is b, uh, then when we add them together, we'll get something over here, which is a plus b. And then when we take the modulus of that, it will come up over here somewhere, a plus b. But that again will be equal to the modulus of a uh, plus the modulus of b. Uh, so again, equality will hold if they're both the same sign. And if they're not the same sign, uh, zero is very easy to check. If one of them is equal to zero, then that doesn't obviously. If, then the modulus of it is exactly the same as uh, its value, so that doesn't make any difference. 
Uh, if they are opposite signs, uh, then uh, the modulus of A plus B will be less than the modulus of A plus the modulus of B, uh, because they will cancel each other out uh, when you... So if you um, think about, say, uh, take an example of 2 and minus 1, if we take the modulus of those two things, then it's 1 plus 2, uh, which is 3, but if we add them together, we'll go down to 1, and the modulus will be equal to 1, so they'll cancel each other out, uh, and therefore the modulus of the sum of them will be less than the sum of the moduli. Okay, so this inequality does hold true in the real numbers. Uh, so, uh, we can apply it here and say that this uh, here is less than or equal to y minus z uh, plus z minus x. Uh, where we view uh, we view um, we view a as being equal to y minus z, and we view b as being equal to z minus x. Now, uh, then we just apply the definition of the metric on this real line and say that the distance between uh, the modulus of y minus z is equal to the distance between z and y, and that this distance between z and x is the distance between um, x and z. So we therefore get that the distance between x and y is less than or equal to the distance between x and z uh, plus the distance between z and y. Uh, so that gives us the triangle inequality. So the triangle inequality hold, held true uh, on the real numbers.